Afternoon folks, got a bonus video for you because sometimes I sit down and I have a little think and then I start writing and before I'm finished I'm at work and I've spent about an hour not proofreading anything but actually writing a video on diversity in the fantasy because I did a video on this a few weeks ago that people have sent me a lot of emails and a lot of messages asking about certain points that I've made and certain things that I went over in that video and asked me to perhaps go over what I meant. So. Here we are. We are looking at some Warhammer Fantasy in the background because it's, in my opinion, a better setting than Rings of Power. But let, let me just gloss over that very, very quickly because I really want to talk about diversity in fantasy because I'm, I think I'm going to make some quite surprising points that people aren't really expecting because everybody likes to make sure that uh, you're as wound down as you can be in terms of complexity in your points right you can't think two things at the same time well you know I, I think i think you can i think you can hold diverse points just as you can have diverse people in fantasy and it actually makes a lot of sense but anyway i want to answer three questions in the video the first one is is amazon as bad as we think as in the people who are making rings of power right the second one is what are the issues with diversity in fantasy why do we have issues with it? And number three, how can it be done correctly? So, number one, we all know that Amazon are coming out with the Rings of Power TV series, and it is getting lambasted right now. As part of the research for this, my, my an hour and a half of research, you know, because I don't, I don't work very hard, is looking at some of the content that Amazon has in terms of Rings of Power and what they want to do with it. And on most of their um, trailers for the show we have basically a glut of messages, of comments underneath, lambasting the show lamb before it's even come out, and having a go at it. Now, the problem with that is, is that we have we have a, a people who've cried wolf syndrome, but I'm going to just read this as I wrote it, because I think it explains it a lot better than I actually can ad hoc. So, is Amazon as a company, in terms of creating content, as bad as we think? Here's the surprising thing. In a word, no. No, they're not. Sure, in terms of fantasy, the Rings of Power looks like a complete rejection of Tolkien. But if you look at the rest of Amazon's content, there is actually a nice, diverse swathe of content there. I mean, th there's a new movie coming out called Samaritan that stars Sylvester Stallone as an aging superhero. And it looks like a throwback of the kind of movie aimed at the very same white blokes in their 30s we are told Amazon does not want on their platform. So... Why are they making content geared towards us then, if they don't want us? The reason why is because Amazon like making money. And Amazon knows. And full well, people like that are not stupid. They know full well where the money is. The money is, in terms of geeks, is in white blokes. Is in middle-aged white blokes, who will, in man children who will spend all of their money on what you peddle to them. Listen, I work for Games Workshop. I know exactly who these people are. Because my entire job was marketing all of my models to those people. Right? This is a problem with sensationalist politics in the modern age from both sides. It is the boy who cried wolf syndrome. We spend so much time complaining about inane things that in the end our greater points are lost amidst the screaming. I use the phrase rending your garments a lot. But that is simply because whenever I listen to woke people or alt-right people, this is what I hear. Screaming and crying that ruins the fun for everybody else. Is Rings of Power a travesty? It sure looks like it. But the rest of the content offered on Amazon is actually quite stellar. Have you ever seen Vinland Saga? I recommend it. And the entire first season is on Amazon, right? There is some cool stuff on there. What we tend to do is we look at these companies and we say, well, they're making Rings of Power, so they're entirely woke. Again, Boy Who Cried Wolf, no, they're not. They're actually making content for us, for the normal people. There is, I, I would probably say there's far more of that content on there than there is out of any other content that's being made, right? What they're trying to do with Rings of Power is tap into a diverse set of people, and they're trying to, at the same time, ride on the coattails of a very poisonous movement that pits one side against the other. That 
brings me on to my second part of the question of the of the questions. What are the issues with diversity in fantasy when you look at it through this lens? Well, Rings of Power steps away from the source material, and a lot of people will have you believe that it is just neckbeards not liking someone touching their favourite thing. You know? That's what will have you believe. The issue here is the callousness that Amazon have approached this with. They have picked an era and area of Middle-earth that has little to no explanation in de indefinite stories so they can inject their own utopian fantasies onto them. Each piece of build-up content on the show has focused on diversity, shoehorned into Middle-earth, a setting mainly exploring white cultures to make a quick book off of gullible woke people and at worst make a rather nasty-hearted attack on the value of white culture itself. Because I'll tell you now, white culture has a lot of value. Look at the success of Vikings. Are you guys sick of Vikings yet? Because I fucking am. But I will tell you right now, they are successful because white culture is really, really brutal and interesting. It just is. I'm sorry, it just is. I can't change that fact. Most of our cultures, the Romans, the Greeks, the Vikings, the Anglo-Saxons, the Normans, the French... I mean, we have an amazing background of people who've done some absolutely astonishing things. Aristotle, anyone? Alexander the Great, Julius Caesar, Charlemagne, Edward I, Richard the Lionheart. I could go on forever and ever. Shakespeare, you know, I could, William Wordsworth, I could go on. We have an amazing plethora of things. But if Amazon has their way, and people like that have their way, they will turn them into a more diversified section of things. They will bastardize history, but they're not doing it because they hate white people. They don't. They want your money just like everybody else is. They're doing it to create friction between one side and the other because they think that sells. The only thing you can do is what I'm about to tell you. The real issue is, however... Amazon are doing this to pander to you. If you are on the left, hear me out. Please hear me out. If you are on the left, I know you're here in the comments somewhere. You, you keep coming into the comments and whining and crying all the time whenever I say something that doesn't quite align with your strict worldview. So hear me out. Amazon don't give a shit about you. They never have and they never will. They are playing the extremes off against each other to generate buzz and noise around a product that is likely just a poor man's witcher in the first place. And that's saying a lot. Don't watch Rings of Power if you want good fantasy content on Amazon. Don't even hate watch it. Just walk away. And I'm speaking across the board there. That is a bipartisan point that I'm trying to make. Walk away. Don't watch Rings of Power don't think about Rings of Power. Don't even acknowledge that it exists. Vote with your wallet and walk. That is the only way you're going to get top fantasy content on these large streaming platforms. So, now that I've bitched and moaned for a little while, how can it be done correctly? And this is all well and good, but how can we do vi uh, diversity in fantasy correctly? There are a lot of people who will come along and will bitch and moan and not give you any sort of pushback on maybe we should do this instead simple i have a solution for you adapt the works of diverse writers poppy war by rf kuang right is based on chinese mythology and is a fantasy epic of fantastic quality it's really 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 good i really do go and recommend i recommend it poppy war is amazing and i loved it because it's exploring a culture that you don't often see in fantasy it's amazing. Really well done. Essentially, imagine Lord of the Rings, but it's medieval China. How fucking cool does that sound? Yeah, go and buy it. Go and read it. It's amazing, right? And I would watch a show based on Poppy War like that. I would... Sorry, clicking my fingers. Yeah, like that, right? I would get in there. I'd watch the shit out of that because that would be an amazing show. Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I mention it on the podcast. It'll be out on Thursday. Is, a gro is grounded in African myths 
and cultural cues that harken back to the Empire of Ghana, which is one of the biggest empires of sub-Saharan Africa at the height of the medieval and ancient age, right? An amazing work of fiction. Again, imagine Game of Thrones, but it's written by an, by a guy who wants to explore his African roots. Imagine that. Imagine how cool that would be. Yes, it is cool. These are original works, and there are original works out there that actually have a diverse voice behind them that is not that is not seen a lot and celebrates the cultures of those people. If Amazon Prime gave a shit about diversity and the left, these are the works they would be adapting. But instead, they try to play you off against each other by taking something that is based in white mythology and cultures and warping it to their own weird sense of political activism. So yes, leave Middle Earth mostly white. Diverse people should have their own shows and books to enjoy. And you know what? White people can enjoy those too. Because I enjoyed the fuck out of Poppy War and Rage of Dragons, right? I don't need to be a Muslim to find the writings of the Quran beautiful to read. Just like diverse people from non-white backgrounds can enjoy Middle Earth what it is, rather than trying to warp into something it was never intended to be. Leave our stuff alone. Make your own. You will have more fun that way. Trust me. Anyway, that's my short rant on and my final rant probably on diversity and fantasy i really hope you enjoyed it and let me know what you think i think of all that in the comments down below i'm liking making this shorter more you know focused content every now and again love you all long time and i'll speak to you soon have a really good day